Hi everyone, in this video we'll perform a heat load calculation and analyze the results in a 2D and 3D environment. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! First of all, in the screen now we see three different views. On the top left we see the first floor, on the bottom left we see the second floor. And on the right, we see the 3D view with the visualization filter activated to show the UVALU analysis, okay? So here is the legend of the colors that we see so far. Uh, coming back to the floor plan, I have activated intelligent text to show the design heat, uh, the design heat load the area and the temperature, the room temperature. The design heat load is set to zero because we didn't make any calculations so far. First of all, we come to the building function and let's go to the basic data tab in which we are going to change the location of our model. So I come to the three, three dots button inside Europe I will select Netherlands and Amsterdam. Amsterdam has the minimal temperature set to minus 5. I could manually change this uh, temperature value to minus 10 for instance. Below we could uh, manually change the direction of the north or set this in the model. <coughs> Next step, we come to the u value tab. I will start with the exterior wall. I could insert all the layers that belong to this wall. Because this workflow is repetitive, I will insert all the layers, then afterwards I will give the, their thickness. In the results tab, we see that we get to a UVAL of 0.3, a weight per area of 235, and the calculated thickness of the wall. Now click OK. For all the remaining components of this building, I will set the UVAL manually. Now that we have finished, we can perform the heat load calculation. So we come to the heat load tab and here we see the settings. We could change the shielding class, air change rate, building mass and concealed thermal bridges. In the options button, we can also set the calculation standard. And for instance, we could also insert a reheating addition by clicking on the set all. In this case, I'll click OK and I'll click calculate. Now close the building dialog to see the result in the model. To see the result in a 3D model, we can activate the visualization filter instead of for the UVAL analysis for a specific room heat load. Like this. Let me just insert also the transparency to look better. And 
the design heat load has been updated in all rooms. But to fine tune the calculation, I will change some room information. For instance, we come to the room function and the covert entrance hall shouldn't be heated, so I'll deactivate the heated option. In a technical room, I will change the room temperature to 15 degrees. Also in the covert balcony, I will deactivate the heated option. And in the bath, I will set the room temperature to 24 degrees. Now I will rerun the heat load calculation, building and calculate. I'll click OK to see the results in the model. In the 3D view, if we activate the visualization filter so that we can see the legend, we can directly see the room which has the negative heat load. If we look in, in the floor plan, this is the technical room. We also see that the covered entrance hall and the covered balcony uh, have the heat load set to zero and we can also see uh, rooms in which we have lowest heat load and heat load above max. Now let's analyze the bathroom. In the heat load tab inside the room dialog we can check all the components position. So by clicking on the on this component we see that this highlighted wall is positioned to the external air as well as this window but this wall side right now is positioned to an unheated room if you like this video share with your colleagues if you have any questions put your comment below and we'll get back to you cheers